Welcome back. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's time for our Women in Sports segment with sports reporter Dominique Williams. Who do we have up first? All right, this week we kick things off with Adelaide Gianni. She's level one gymnast. She's part of the Catalyst Gymnastics team in Sterlington, Louisiana. Adelaide is only eight years old, and her parents say she's a rock star. And to be only eight years old, and she's already got onto a great start in the sport. You see her there as she spins around and lands. Sticks the landing, as they would say. Yeah, oh my goodness. She is just too cute. This is so awesome. I'm glad to see some uh, <coughs> younger girls in gymnastics. I feel like we haven't really had any gymnastics girls in our women in sports segments yet, so this is so fun. Yeah, I think this is the first that we've seen this far, and then only eight years old. I mean, could you have done that? I could not <laughs> have, no. It would not have happened, okay? <laughs> so, bro, Bravo to you because I would have been like, I couldn't even get over the pole, okay? okay. I think I'm still trying to learn how to tumble yeah. on the mat. I don't know about spinning on the bar. Yeah, I don't know about that either. <laughs> All right, so next we have this young woman out of South Arkansas. We are celebrating Leslie Chagoya last month on September 9th. Leslie made history at Hamburg High School by becoming the first female varsity football player in school history. She has been recognized at the state level for her accomplishments. Not only is she making history on the gridiron, Leslie also this season was named homecoming queen for Hamburg uh, High School homecoming court. Leslie also has some moves on the soccer field. So what? football, American football, and then football international. Yeah, yeah, that is so awesome. Wow. I love whenever I see like women like in like a dominant male sport that's mm -hmm. just like Yes, yeah. go girl. <laughs> so she went from cleats on the gridiron to put up my pumps for yeah, the queen, girl. homecoming crown. I thought that was so cute. Yeah, and homecoming queen. Wow, she can really just do it all, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, that's right. All that's right, so now we end our, for this week, uh, Emma Grace Greer. She was part of the Woodlawn Warriors sixth grade football team. Emma is the first girl to ever play football at her school as well. Emma's mother, uh, Charlene, has said it takes so much courage and determination to get there out there with nothing but the boys. Emma absolutely loves it. Her father and I could not be more proud of this amazing young lady she is becoming. She just finished her first season on the team last week. Oh, wow. Two women playing football mm -hmm. in this week's segment. And this is so awesome. I'm sure her parents are so proud of her. Sixth grade takes a lot of courage to get out there on the field, especially as a high school, mm -hmm. but now as a middle schooler as well. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, a lot of a courage lot. there and determination. Mm -hmm. And we commend her for it. And we can't wait to see if she comes back for the seventh grade year because yeah. she's probably going to be bigger and better. I know. I need to go watch both of them play a football game. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a daughter or know someone who is a woman in sports? <coughs> Send us a video sharing a highlight of them playing their sport and share their name and what sport they play. There is no age requirement or limit, so send us a video and we'll put it on the morning show. Our email is mornings at NBC10news.net.